Basically, there are two popular statistical models for a meter analysis, the fixed and the random effects model. Before I explain both models in detail, I want to note that we have already talked about univariate and multivariate approaches. And I want to keep you in mind that um, either approach may be applied in a fixed effects model or in a random effects model. So when we conduct a meta-analysis and decide that we want to conduct a fixed effects model to operationalize our meta-analysis, we can choose between a univariate approach or a multivariate approach. So let's talk about these models. First, the fixed effects model. In a fixed effects model, we can draw conditional inferences. So we can draw conclusions which only hold for the studies which are included in our study sample. So the findings we draw cannot be generalized. The assumption in fixed effects model is that the true effect or the true effect size is the same value in each study. So it is fixed, thus it is entitled fixed effects model. All considered primary studies are studies of the same population. The differences in effect sizes root in some error. So that's the assumption, such as, for example, a sampling error or random variation. So let's talk about random effects models. There we can draw unconditional inferences. We can draw general conclusions beyond those studies included. This might be potentially more realistic. So the assumption here is that the effect size we want to uh, analyze is a random variable. It is allowed to vary from sample to sample or from study to study. The aim uh, of meta-analysis is thus to analyze and explain why this effect size varies. So explain the variance. In infinite studies, it would be um, a stable effect size because it would be result in some mean. So this would then be our effect size. Besides these fixed and random effects models, there's only the chance to mix both up. And this is then called mixed effects model. So here's a short description. So the mixed effects model extends the random effects model by modeling explicit study characteristics as moderators. So these characteristic captures why studies differ systematically in effect size. Then it would be possible to code study characteristics. For example, the average age of the respondents if we need to analyze survey data or the results of survey data. Or measurements used, which may also serve as kinds of study characteristics or characteristics on a study level. We then can investigate if the effect size is associated with these characteristics. So imagine we model the study characteristics as moderators and then we can partition our studies and create subgroups. And we can uh, conduct a meta-analysis in each subgroup. And in each subgroup we can decide whether we um, conduct a fixed effects model or a random effects model. We may conduct a fixed effects model when we see in a subgroup that the effect sizes are very similar. So we might assume that there is no further variability in this subgroup. If you're not sure whether there is still a variability, we may conduct a random effects model. Mm -hmm.